my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again, and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm going to be doing a funky bow lantern topper for a lantern that I'm going to have sitting out in my wagon for my Christmas decor out on the front porch. And I am gonna show you the wagon <laughs> when I'm done, but I'm not gonna show you the rest of the front porch. I'm only gonna show you where I set this lantern and uh, in the wagon and the decor in the wagon. Everything else, you're gonna need to wait for my home tour to see. Oh my goodness, I know, can you believe I'm doing it? I feel guilty for doing it, but I really want to surprise you guys with a thing or two. Not that it's going to be a big surprise, but just I don't want to show you everything before my home tour. I want you to come back. I want you to want to come back for my home tour. Uh, so as you saw, or you, I'm not sure how much footage I was able to salvage, but I've already made one nine loop funky bow. I am going to do a funky bow tutorial in this one as well. Uh, but I made this one for a little stand that I bought, y'all, for those who've been with me for a while, I bought it from Williamsburg and it's a, it's just, it has a felt hanging on it. I felt like picture kind of thing. This is Merry Christmas, I would think, believe on it. But I need a funky bow to go on top of that. So I made a funky bow. And this is what we're gonna be making for this lantern. I'm gonna show you the lantern here in a second. But we're gonna be making a funky bow just like this. This is a nine loop funky bow. This is the smallest and the easiest, I think, funky bow that I make. So this uh, craft may be good for the beginner, you know? Uh, the beginning bow maker and the beginning lantern topper maker. Okay, so, but this is gonna go somewhere else out on the front porch, but I just wanted to show you what we're gonna be making. So let me show you this lantern. This poor lantern has been out on the front porch for pretty much since we moved in here, y'all. Pretty much since we moved in here, and it almost looks pink. It used to be red, and I could paint it, but I'm not going to this year, but it almost looks pink. Now, there it is. <laughs> uh, I bought this at a local country store we have here in town called Dottie's Den, for those of you who are local, over off of Lafayette Boulevard. Uh, locally owned business. I highly encourage you local folks who, uh, but anyway, I encourage you local folks who may not know about Dottie's Den to go over and check it out off of Lafayette Boulevard especially if you decorate in the country decor, although they have something for everybody in there. You see the little crow on the top there. So we're going to make a lantern. I'm going to show you what we're going to put inside of it, and then we're going to make a lantern topper, and we're going to tie it right around this little area here, and that's what's going to hold it on to the lantern. So let's start out making, sorry, our nine loop funky bow. Let's start out with that because we, we need, need to have that made in order to build our lantern topper. And I needed one more piece of ribbon that I've forgotten when I just said that I reminded myself. So let me get Again, you Again, we're gonna be making a nine loop funky bow. And so I have nine strips of ribbon here cut at 22 inches a piece. Again, this is for a nine loop fun funky bow, three strips of ribbon out of each pattern color of ribbon. Three, six, nine equals nine, nine loops. Nine loops equals our nine loop funky bow. I also have here a couple of strips that I want to tie on it for tails, and I'll show you how we do that. Do that a little differently because of the snowman. I want the snowman to be moving in the same direction. So I'll show you how we'll do that. And then we're gonna tie this on at the very end because this is going to be used to tie the whole bow and swag onto the lantern. And we'll get to explaining that in just a second. So this bow is, is quite layered and we're gonna get started making it right now. It does not take long to make a nine loop funky bow. You pick up the first loop, and I'm gonna set up a pattern. Don't pay attention to these two. I'm gonna set up a pattern with these three strips, or three piles. Okay, I'm gonna fold it, the first strip in half, and we wanna to go to about five and a half inches on our measuring tape. Pick it up at that point and pinch it together. 
Okay, so there's our first loop. Go to that back tail and twist it toward the front. I hold it up with my pinky, hold this one up with my pinky and then twist this. This is really nice ribbon. I got all of this ribbon last year, you guys. I have no idea, I got it all from Hobby, uh, no, I got this one and this one from Hobby Lobby and this one from uh, BJ's, which is like a Costco. I don't know if they have any of it this year, but I had all this in my coffers. In fact, everything I'm using today, I'm not gonna be able to give you links for anything, you guys, because I'm using everything out of my coffers from the basement, so. But you can make something, you know, like this if you get this same stuff. So anyway, here we go with our second loop in our pattern. Go to five and a half inches and turn it, turn that loop the opposite direction and accordion it in side by side by side. Think of my thumb as the center of the funky bow. Go to that back tail and twist. Go to the third piece of ribbon in our funky bow. Go to five and a half inches and point that loop up from center this time. You're gonna switch directions every time you add a loop. This is an odd numbered loop bow. I'm gonna change the loop every direction. It's different, odd is different. It's different than my other funky bows. Here we go, we're gonna start the pattern over again and we're gonna turn it Turn that loop down from center. Gonna to go to that back tail and we're gonna twist. Here we go. Our next piece of ribbon, go to five and a half inches, turn it up from center and accordion it in there. Twist that back tail. Go with the third piece, five and a half inches, point it down from center, accordion it in right at that point. That back tail. You can see I'm letting the ribbon slip down into the crook of my finger here. And I'm letting up, when after I add the ribbon, I'm letting up, so I'm not getting a cramp in my hand like you do with some other bows. Okay, here we go, our last time through the pattern. Fold it right in half, go to five and a half ribbon, I'm gonna go to five and a half inch, I'm gonna turn it over so that the snowmen are moving in the right direction. I'm gonna have it pointed up from center. That's just my anal retentive this there. You don't have to turn it and have the snowmen or whatever your character is moving in the same direction, but I like to, at least at this point. Okay, five and a half inches, point it down from center, accordion it in. Twist that back uh, lit tail. And our last loop in our pattern. And add it right in with the loop pointed up from center. Go to that back tail and twist. Okay, remember our Tails. What I want to do is I want to add one. This is going to be the bottom of the bow right here. So I want to add one loop so that the snowman will hang or be, you know, hanging correctly like that. And then I want to add this one in this way so that the snowman will be hanging. See that? So that way our snowmen are going in the same direction. I don't know whether I'll need this long of tails. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet, but I wanna be sure to have enough, so I just went ahead and, and cut them longer. Then I wanna add in this last piece of ribbon right at the bottom, because this is gonna cinch this bow right on to the lantern. So get, your, get a pipe cleaner. Kind of go to the center of the pipe cleaner, pull the bottom around the bottom and the top around the top. Use this hand as resistance. This hand as resistance. Get the fingers that you use to manipulate the ribbons up as close as you can to the back of the bow. Scooch this hand around and really squeeze and pinch and twist. 
twist, twist the bow, twist the pipe cleaner, twist both things. Make it as, and do it a lot. You don't want this to come apart because you're gonna be nip, manipulating this bow a lot, okay? So there's the start of a funky bow with tails and with another two pieces of ribbon to tie it onto the lantern with. As okay. I've said a billion times, of any bow, not just a funky bow, but of any bow, is the fluffing. So take some time out, put your hands on every single loop that you made, and fluff, fluff, fluff. You can make the flattest of bows pretty just by fluffing. Pull the loops where you want them to go. Remember, you tied it really tight. So there we go. And we'll do some more fluffing and fixing when I get it on to the lantern. Okay, but for right now, you can kind of see where I'm going with that. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Okay. Let me set this aside for a second, and let's work on what I'm gonna do with the inside of this lantern. Let me turn you back around here and get you pointed up a little bit. Okay, this is a very old, again, I did not purchase anything for this whole craft. This is two old pieces of Pipberry garland. I get all of my Pipberries or most of my Pipberries from thepipberrybarn.com. And what I did was I tied two together and I put tied them together with tie wraps. My magic weapon are tie wraps. Tie wraps hold everything in place, y'all. Or cable ties or zip ties, whatever you call them. I call them cable ties usually. Uh, but anyway, what I did is I took a set of my fairy lights. Well, they're not my fairy lights, but they are fairy lights that I offer in my Amazon storefront, always linked in there. Now you can see they are kind of blinking, which is kind of how I like them. All of my fairy lights come in a set of four, and they do come with a remote control, which I'm not putting my, oh, here it is, with a remote control. It has all kinds of different... This, that was combination. This one is in wave, which is usually like I, what I like to have it set on outside. You can see that. This is sequential. This is slow glow. This is chasing flash. Well, that's enough to give you a migraine there, isn't it? Yikes. Slow fade, they come on and then they fade out. And they come back on and fade out. And then twinkle flash. Oy. Then steady on. I'm gonna leave them on steady on for the purposes of this video. I will probably put them in, in wave when they're sitting out on the front porch. They do come with a remote control Every set, you get as many remote controls as you do sets. And it comes with the little piece of plastic in there. So what we're gonna do is very simply open up the door here and we are going to smush this Pipberry garland and lights in. I'm gonna keep the, keep the batteries packed where I can get to it pretty easily. I will put these on a timer. These battery packs come with a timer. And that's what it's gonna look like inside. I'm not gonna put a candle in it. I want to have a lot of movement with my lights in there on the porch. Okay, so that is all I wanna do. For the inside of the lantern. This poor thing is decrepit. Okay, and it really looks pretty at night with the lights moving. And now, we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna make a little swag for, I did have these left over from last year, I never used them. So I thought I would let these hang 
I don't know whether they'll fit over that crow or not. Hang on. Thought we might let these hang on one side like that. And then the, we're gonna want the swag to go the bow here and the swag to go this way because I have I'm gonna have things to the left of this lantern. So I'm I'm gonna be positioning the swag, the funky bow topper, so that it hangs down this way and it sticks up this way. Okay. So I just collected a bunch of stuff here, and I don't know how much of this I'll use. You all have seen me use a lot of this stuff this year, as a matter of fact. I may not I've got two sets of berries that are pretty similar looking. And I've got two flocked tufts of greenery. And I've got two kind of wispy pieces. Again, these have the tags on them, but I swear to goodness, you guys, I got these last year. I just never used them. I bet you anything I went at the end of the at the end of the season and picked up some stuff at the end of the season, knowing I would probably want them to use this year. So what I'm gonna do, these are gonna be my, my bottom base, and I'm gonna put them pretty close together. Okay. So we also have two pieces of pine like this. So I'm just going to, this is, I'm just gonna layer some of these kind of on top of one another. Like that. This, these don't quite look the same though. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Now, I'm going to put this funky bow in the middle. So that looks like that'll work pretty well. I'm not sure how easily this is going to bend. But we will do our best. Okay, now I do want to add my flocked foliage in too. Just like that. Okay, now you can see that I've got them all piled on top of one another. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in my berries too. Yes, I am. Just like that. Now let me add this side first. I'm gonna take, again, a tie wrap. These are my magic weapon, I'm telling you, you guys. And I want to tie these together. I might end up getting rid of these pine cones, if I'm honest, because they're getting in my way. So, I'm gonna tie the whole shebang together, just like this. I'm going to cut this down. I put the longer piece that is gonna come down from the lantern. This is a shorter piece up on the top. Okay, again, I'm gonna take my handy dandy cable tie here and we're gonna tie it together up at this end. cinch them tight. Okay, now, I'll tell you right now, I need to get rid of these pine cones. They will do nothing but aggravate me. 
and I am sure I will use them somewhere else at some other time. Because I'm trying to make this easy for you guys, so we don't want to get too involved. I might stick some red berries, I have some down here in a bag, glue them into the bow once I get the, get the bow attached. So we'll see about that in just a second. Okay. Got it all pulled together now. Now I'm gonna take my bow and I'm going to trim down these pipe cleaners because I'm not going to use them to tie it on the lantern because, or on the swag because it just doesn't, it just isn't tight enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take one of my tie wraps or cable ties, whatever you call them, and I'm gonna put it underneath the pipe cleaner that I use to close the bow. And I'm going to tie the bow onto the swag with this tie wrap. I want the bow to kind of be pointed like that. There we go with a very pretty swag. And we're gonna tie the whole swag up onto the lantern in one fell swoop. Then I'll look about putting some red berries in it with the ribbons that I had tied on the back. So let's lift us up, see if I can get us situated here. One. Strip on one side. Get these out of my way for a second. And one strip on the other. And that just about does it. Right like that. And I am going to, and what we're going to do is just tie a square bow back here. But I am going to pull this super tight, which will pull this swag really close to the lantern so that I can really manipulate it and work with it and it's not gonna go anywhere if the wind blows and so on out there. Right over left, left over right. doesn't have to be beautiful back here but of course you never know from what direction somebody will be looking so I'm going to make it semi pretty cut up the tails right to about the edge there we go now, when I take this off after Christmas, all I have to do is untie that, and I'll have this for next year, and I can tie it right back on next year, okay? Let's turn this around and see what we have here. I'm gonna do a little bending and a little manipulating. tie wrap you guys because the ribbon because this is so not bendable usually I can bend it and get it held into place but it's not one to do that so we're gonna help it we're gonna use a tie wrap 
Don't ever get discouraged, you guys. And don't ever be afraid to, you know, tweak things. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm gonna see if I can do some fluffing here. One of you guys had asked me to show you how I put the florals into the bow. And it's just a matter of a glue gun and little sprigs of flowers. Just gotta play with it a little bit. It really doesn't need any more red berries, honestly, but you know, a few can't hurt. It is Christmas. <laughs> so we'll go ahead just for demonstration purposes to show you how I do it. I decided I'm gonna make them short. Okay, now, these red berries don't necessarily match these. They're close enough. And they come in little sprigs like that. I have my hot glue gun plugged in here behind the camera. So I'm just going to cut apart a few of these red sprigs see all you do or all I do anyway is take my hot glue gun and then I just put a little glue which I can't do in in front of the camera because I have nothing under it but I just put a little bit of glue right on the end of the stem and then I put the stem in the bow. That way, you're not gonna have globs of, although there have been times that I've gone around my bow and glued that way. Just being sure not to use a ton, you know. But I'm just gonna sporadically place them in the, in the bow here, just for a little extra something. I'm gonna work on this a little bit. I'm not really one to put much more than that in it, you guys. Really and truly, maybe something coming down here a little longer. you guys I think that is gonna do it I'm gonna let it dry a little bit here and then I will take it outside but I'm gonna come back for some final words so give me just a second here and I'll be right back Let me get that back on so we won't have that <laughs> I'll be right back Okie dokie, everybody, here we are, all finished with our nine loop funky bow lantern swag. Oh my goodness, it turned out to be so pretty. Now, it did give me a little troubles when I went to put it on, only because the stems were not very bendable, so I kind of had to muscle it into place a little bit. But uh, as you can see, it turned out really pretty. Let me bring it up closer to you. 
it turned out really pretty, I think. And then with the fairy lights that are gonna be twinkling away inside, I think that is gonna be beautiful sitting out inside. I'm going to go and put this into place. And then I will come back and get my camera and I will take you out and do a slow video to music over my wagon. So you guys can see what I did. I'm super happy with how this worked out. It was a little bigger than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. Things need to be big and bold at Christmas, don't they? <laughs> so let me go into my final words and say, I hope that all is well with everyone. And for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. Next up will probably be my home tour. So if y'all will give me three or four days to get that up and running, I'll get it up as soon as I can. And know that in this time that we're apart, that that's what I'm doing. I'm working on my home tour. All right? All right. But until then, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Okie dokie, you guys. Well, <laughs> the best laid plans and all that, you know. I had to end up moving the lantern over to this side of the wagon, which is working out beautifully. I added some bells that I already had on this side. It is so cold. Sorry if I'm shivering. It is really, really cold here in Virginia today. We had to tie in Wendy. We had to tie this on so it got smushed. There's the other funky bow I made. And this is what I was talking about. I did not purchase one thing, as I said, for this decor this year. This is all stuff that I had in my coffers. And it looks really pretty. And you can see I've got the, sorry I'm shivering, <laughs> I've got the lights blinking. So it looks super pretty out here. And you will see the rest of this decor and my home tour that will be coming up oh, within the next few days or four, three, four days, <laughs> whenever I can get everything recorded and in the can and then edited. <laughs> so until then, you guys, y'all take good, good care. Love y'all to bits. Bye-bye.